Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, we had a very good uh, 2022. We had 6% organic growth. Very importantly, if you look at our digital and services revenue, which is now you know the lion's share of our business, that was up uh, 7% organically. Uh, as the top line grows, we, of course, uh, were able to increase our uh, margin by 80 basis points, and that allows us to continue to invest in the business in innovation and continue to reward our shareholders, our dividends up 15%, and we do intend to uh, conduct another share buyback of a billion euros in 2023. So uh, we started the year well, and so uh, the strategy is, is working nicely across the, uh, all four of our divisions. Nancy, as I take a look at your Outlook comments, right up there you point to the sort of growth that's anticipated, the high single-digit growth, but then the next line is around creating a new division, corporate performance and ESG. Just give us a sense of uh, the contribution of this to the business. So we're creating a, a new division uh, by uh, focusing on four of our key assets that today serve banks and corporations uh, and our market leaders in the respective spaces. And each of those assets today are already uh, building out components to help customers with ESG reporting and with environmental health and safety aspects of ESG. So by bringing these together, uh, we believe that we can accelerate our growth and we can uh, continue to serve our customers. And this is a fast growing area of the market. And so we're really excited about being able to bring these assets together. Nancy, um, very good morning to you. C can I ask you about the... the um what you're seeing in current trading immediately. We, we had overnight, as you will know, a bit of a panic sell-off in the United States on signs perhaps that there's some consumer weakness starting to emerge in the US. And up to this point, I think the messaging from most companies has been that markets look good, our business, our fundamental businesses look strong. Yesterday looked like a little bit of a turning point in the market's view of how resilient the U.S. consumer actually is and thereby maybe the U.S. consumer and economy as a whole. Are you seeing anything in current trading as businesses communicate with you about what they want in terms of information on their marketplaces? Anything at all that suggests that weakness is starting to emerge in the corporate spend? Uh, we started the year well. If you look at what we do, we really help our customers uh, navigate compliance and drive productivity benefits. And so these trends around digital transformation, cloud computing that, that have existed and frankly got sort of accelerated during the, the pandemic, you know, really support our strategy around expert solutions. So today, uh, we don't see uh, any signs of customers slowing down their activity. You know, we, of course, will watch that carefully. Uh, but if you look at what we do, uh, you know, customers really need to continue to invest in their own digital transformation, and we can help them with that. 